Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card all about witchery and spiritual gifts and psychic gifts. We're going to be seeing what is your strongest psychic gift, what is your secret spiritual gift, all of those things. I'm going to be telling you what chakra you use to manifest as well, which will help you to manifest the best things for you. So we have group number one, group two, group three and group four. So please choose your group and we're going to put some crystals onto the groups now. So we have the groups now. We have group number one, two, three and four. Please choose your group and let's get started. If you need more time, please pause the video. All timestamps will be down below in the comment section and in the description box down below. So let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what spiritual gifts you have, what secret gifts you may not know that you have, all that jazz. So see what type of witch you are as well. So from this card, this is the Oracle of Spells, something like that. I can't remember the exact... Uh, deck it's called love love spells deck so this is exciting new love it says venus cast light on me a goddess today i'll be as lover stronger brave and true i seek as a reflection of you so this is actually a love spell that you can do if you guys are interested so obviously this is explaining that you guys are going to get new love soon so if you are single expect that to come in but also your manifesting abilities will be mainly through your heart chakra. So also you guys have a very strong sun sign. You could have a Leo sun, you could have just a very strong masculine sun. So it could be um, a sun sign ruled by the sign of Mars. It could be a fire sign. It could be uh, more of a air sign as well, but obviously just take it as it resonates. So that is the first card out. Let's have a look at these ones next. So we have confidence. We have courage. We then have, let's do these two next as well. So we have scorpion, a beautiful, some of you guys could be a Scorpio. We have the shadow and we have the lover. Gorgeous, oh my God, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I love this combination. Okay, so this, for you guys, your magical powers is all about your intensity. You guys are very intense. If you don't feel like you are very intense, I feel like you guys have a very deep intensity. You have this kind of raw energy to you. You, When you think of something, it can manifest quite quickly. I feel like your thoughts are very, very strong and you have a lot of confidence and a lot of courage, but also if you don't have that or you feel like you, feel like you don't have that, you are working on that. You're working on your confidence and you're working on your courage. For you guys, your shadows are the most intense part of you and they are the part of you that can really control and dictate things that you have gone through and kind of dictate the energy that kind of rules over you. So for you guys, you are most likely manifesting through the darkness. So for you guys, you could have gone through very, very deep, intense things in your life and it could be that the moon really shapes your energy. So when the moon is in a certain sign, you feel like that sign. And for your spiritual gifts, you are somebody who is very, very spiritual. You are really good at picking up on social cues. You're really good at picking up on intuitive messages. You're most likely very, very intuitive. You're somebody who is a really, really good lover. So you really want a deep, committed relationship. If you already have one, that is amazing. You really want depth in your connections. You want a deep, deep communication. You want deep connections you're somebody who's very fiery very vibrant and you also you use that intensity to create magic to create manifestations so don't let anyone dull this energy because this is the best part of you and when you're really passionate about something you're really really passionate about it like no stopping you some of you it's really hard for you to let go of something and I think you're learning to do that that could be part of the shadow energy you could have manifested partnerships or situations in your life that really reflected the shadow sides of you and they are kind of coming out to be released now so you may be dealing with a little bit of uncomfortable energy in relationships it could be family it could be work but just to let you know that this is actually leading you to the best relationship you could possibly have with somebody and with yourself. And also the darker parts of you are the best parts. Those are the parts of you that really need to be looked after and need to be kind of really just worked on, especially your inner child. Your inner child can sometimes feel a little bit sad and can need a little bit of extra help. So also for you guys, you may have a little bit of sting in your tail. You may feel the need to kind of protect yourself a lot because you have been hurt in the past. So with you guys and your spiritual gifts, it's really important for you to use these for yourself 
And if you do want to use these in some sort of career, then definitely do that. But obviously, if you feel overwhelmed and you wanted to keep them for yourself, then definitely do that. So I do feel like for you, you're really intuitive. I feel like genuinely you could have all the clairs, like you're very clairvoyant. I feel like the type of witch that you are is somebody who works with the moon and the sun. You're more of an earthy energy, I feel. You don't have to be an earth sign. I just feel like you work with the earth really well. I feel like you love flowers, you love nature. You could be somebody who's into like herbs and things, but you could also work with fire. I feel like you work with pretty much all the elements. I'm getting like air, water, fire and earth. And I do feel like with some of you guys, you could really, um, your energy could really peak up at nighttime and you could really like the nighttime. You may like go out clubbing. You might like to, obviously when clubs are open, um, you could like to hang out with mates uh, when you're out. It could be that you like to just take nighttime walks. You could really love the moon, love the stars. All that jazz. I just feel like this is massive expansion energy. It's almost like you've been in this dark place for so long. You're now coming into this beautiful light energy that you so, 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 so deserve. Okay. So that is beautiful. I love that for you guys. So let's have a look at the energy that's around you here. So Mercury. So this is going to be the way you manifest is through your words. Next one is your third eye chakra. Beautiful, so very intuitive. So you guys literally could be channelers if that's something that you wanna do. Also, it could be that when you talk to people, your Mercury is really, really intense. So you could have a fixed sign Mercury. So Leo, Taurus, I'm actually hearing Virgo or Capricorn, so maybe an Earth sign as well, but could be Leo, Scorpio, or what's the other one I haven't mentioned, Aquarius as well. So with the sixth chakra, this is your third eye. This is your intuitive. So you guys are very, very intuitive. You have really high intuitive perception. It says, I know that what my intuitive senses tell me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within or around me. And I know that there is, and that I know that is there for me to receive. I practice developing my intuition and I know that it is a major aspect of who I am. In the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation, I will experience and know the truth. I feel like for those of you, you have actually had massive amounts of karmic energy around your words. You could have life path number three, but also it could be that your mercury is really affected by other people's energy. So you could be a sort of person who gets worried about speaking your truth in front of people. And that could be a very, very big karmic life thing that you've had to deal with. It could be something that's really affected you and you're learning now to really speak your truth. And it could be that you use your words in your daily life a lot in terms of writing, drawing, writing books, poetry, scripts, writing, making scripts, or actually like scripting. Um, it could also be that you have a lot of tarot cards and you like crystals and you're very you're very into like the esoteric. You could be, you could almost um, explain yourself as a witch. That could be the term that you acknowledge of yourself. Um, it doesn't have to be, guys. You don't have to be a witch to be intuitive. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see, do we need to get any more cards? Let's pull a tarot card for you guys as well, just to get a little bit more info on your journey. Let's pull, yeah, definitely to do with communication. Let's just keep that one there. Okay, underneath we have the Knight of Cups. So when you learn to communicate your truth, you will manifest love and relationships that really suit you. So the Two of Swords is all about kind of being cut off to anything really, kind of like emotions running high, feeling very overwhelmed. So if you guys, it's really important to meditate. It's really important to get grounded and it's really important to listen as well. Sometimes you guys can get very overwhelmed. So listening will really, really help you to encourage those intuitive abilities to come up. And I do feel like you have been pushing down those things for a while or when you were younger, you push them down. Now is the time to really let that flow free and also to not ignore what you're feeling. If you're getting an intuitive here it feels right for you obviously not anything bad or anything that's going to make you unsafe or going to hurt you if it's something like to go talk to that person or you know eat that food that feels really good for you then freaking do it guys like honestly do it because it's obviously something that's going to be that's connecting to you and it's a message that needs to come through i also feel like if you want to connect to your guides or do like some sort of connection with you know, spirit or you want to go ghost hunting or something like that, definitely go do it. If that's something you feel like is, is fun for you, then go do it. Also, I'm hearing like if you want to watch something and I feel like some of you guys, it's like you watch things and people have told you not to watch it. So like you watch crime and you've had like a partner who's really nasty to you and so don't watch that sort of thing. You have learned to really speak your truth in communication in situations where it's been hard to, okay? Because you're very empathic and you just want what's best for others. So it's really learned to acknowledge your voice and really work with your voice. You could also be a singer as well or some sort of 
public speaker. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. You guys chose the gorgeous Caribbean calcite, one of my absolute faves. Love that one. Okay, so you have two uh, love spell deck cards. So you guys chose the one where it has more of a botanical energy and more of like a witchy kind of candle and darkness energy, which I love. So very beautiful. So we have the breakup repair spell. It says, work this spell to heal and calm, heal my heart, magical balm, harm and harm to hone, blessings to all. And then we have the conjuring pleasure, which is beautiful. We have, you will radiate passion and be intensely drawn to your lover. Now I awaken the goddess in me and I surrender to love's power, which is beautiful. So if you guys want to try out those spells, definitely do that. So we have the breakup repair spell and we also have conjuring pleasure. I feel like for you guys, you've awakened your psychic abilities through some sort of breaking energy, some sort of breakup, some sort of something that needed to break, something that needed to go eat the end <laughs> that's a very weird noise sound like a mouse but you know you know what i'm saying so it feels like for you guys you're really working with that darker shadow aspect of you and your inner child um, to learn to cultivate more independence and also to allow your psychic abilities to come through honey come through okay <laughs> i never say that <laughs> okay that's definitely a channel message so let's get all these cards here and then we'll look at the other cards in just a moment all right, so let's see what we got. We have pride. So some of you guys could be very strong, fiery energy in your chart. We have truth. Oh, T. I I love how these two are like kind of not looking at each other. So you guys have definitely gone through some situations where people have ignored you. And that's really awakened your psychic abilities, your spiritual abilities. We have the comic. We have the anima mundi. And we also have the lamb. Oh, so cute. I love the little lamb. Little lamb is so cute. Okay, so, oh, so many messages. Right, first one is that you guys are very gentle. You are very, very empathic. So for you guys, you work a lot with water. I'm feeling water is very connected to you. You, are, you also work with things that are texture, things that you touch. So to manifest abundance for you guys, it's through touch, it's through feeling, it's through... Um, crying actually for releasing. You guys are the ones to help others release things. So you could be um, a counsellor, you could be somebody who is always the mum of the group or the, or the dad of the group, who always is the one that people go to for advice. Um, I do feel like that it's kind of bringing more laughter into your energy will help you um, open up your psychic abilities more. I feel like you guys really do work with water and nature. I feel like you love to get your hands in the dirt. Some of you guys Yes, some of you guys know, I'm sensitive, some of you guys are very sensitive to texture, so that might not feel very comfortable. Could be sand, you guys love touching things, you love like getting your hand in there and feeling things around. Um, with this Anima Mundi, I do feel like you guys do get overwhelmed quite easily. You could be recently just looking into birth charts and things, but I do feel like you can get quite overwhelmed, so it's really important for you to not just laugh it off if you feel uncomfortable, is to really look into what that is. You could also be a comedian or somebody who uses laughter to change people's energies and to help them to heal, which is beautiful. So with Pride and Truth, you guys have gone through a lot of different stages in your life. You've gone through a phase where maybe you're very fixed in your energy and you could really see the wood for the trees essentially and then you came into a truth that really awakened you and came that's when you came into your spiritual awakening you could have always been very sensitive you could have always been very empathic some of you guys may have never really had a spiritual awakening you could have just kind of gone through life and kind of always been intuitive you may have had family members who i'm hearing some of you guys um, a lot of you guys have had um, breakups in your family so your parents may be divorced um, and that may have kind of brought in a spiritual awakening it could have also brought in an awakening where you are now more connecting to older people not so many people who are your age people who are more older than you we're like 5 10 20 30 years you know that sort of thing it doesn't really matter on the age but i do feel like it's more people that are older than you i do also feel like you're allowing the energies to come in i'm seeing somebody with their hands out like this so you're allowing energy to come into you i feel like you're not blocking it as much whereas before you had this like almost stubborn energy you're now not allowing that to come through and this pride is definitely your people's egos can definitely get in the way of manifesting so if you are somebody who 
can get a little bit too almost judgmental of yourself or you talk badly to yourself, make sure to try and switch your energy around and talk kinder to yourself and that will help things to move through. So I also feel like with a comic is you're somebody who really likes to entertain people. You're somebody who could be an entertainer when you are older or you could already be an entertainer now. You could be somebody who wants to be on stage or in a show or in a TV show, something like that. And I do feel like you're somebody who's very gentle. So if you do go into that sort of thing, you can be quite harsh to criticism. You can find that quite um, harmful to you. So that can actually affect your progress, especially if you want to be more intuitive or open intuitively. So just don't let other people's opinions um, kind of bring you down because you are this gorgeous light. And if you guys look into human design, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be projectors or manifesting generators because I feel like you guys have a lot of white, um, white, uh, what are they called? Those boxes that are on the human design chart. If you guys know what human design is, just have a look at your chart and see what, what that is. You need to know your birth time and your birthday and it's just, just type in human design calculator. And I feel like a lot of you guys, if you guys are super, super, super sensitive and you've really been struggling, you may have a lot of white on your chart, just letting you know, because it may, basically means that you guys need to really work at your sensitivity and give yourself a chance to open that up, but also support that sensitive side of you. Because being in this kind of 3D world, it can be very hard for us empaths, but also for those who, who are indigo and crystal children. Okay, beautiful. We have the heart chakra and we have this square challenge. So we're going to bring in another tarot card in just a moment. So the heart chakra is the main chakra that you guys can manifest from. So you guys have beautiful open hearts. This can also get really affected in your relationships. So really learn to set boundaries and to be independent. So I'm not going to read all of this as this is quite long, but if you need to pause the video and have a look at these, then please do. It says, I allow myself to be open and to giving and receiving love without fear or rejection of rejection. Sorry, I'm going to read that again. I allow myself to be open to giving and receiving love without fear of rejection. I give without expecting recognition or acknowledgement in return. So that is really beautiful. I feel like you guys are really working with your heart. Also, you could learn to be open in your heart. You could be somebody who is actually very, very independent and you do struggle with intimacy. So that could be something that you're really working with. And the main chakra is really good for working with your heart. So you could be working a lot with green. You could really love nature. You could be somebody who um, likes the color green or you love emerald, that sort of thing. But your heart chakra is the main one that can be affected. So also, oh, they're telling me to have a look at this little chart here. It basically tells you what um, chakra is affected by the physical body. So, so with the heart chakra, it is the middle of the chest. It can affect the thymus, heart, lungs, circulation, hands, shoulders, breasts, and upper back. Associated with love, generosity, compassion, and forgiveness. So if you guys, you may have had chest problems in the past, may have problems with your shoulders. So be, be aware of your posture and things like that. That will help um, the energy and the chi to move around your body. Because if you are wanting to kind of get more intuitive, I do feel like you guys really do work with your third eye as well. I think you're very um, tactile. So to kind of do any manifesting work or anything like that, touching something will really help having your senses, having your senses being connected. So say if you are doing, want to do a readings for people, it could be that you do palm readings. It could be that you do water readings where they put their hands in the water and then you put your hands in the water, something like that. Um, obviously as safely as possible, but you know, you do you girl, you do whatever you feel is best. Also, um, going out in nature will really help you to manifest your psychic abilities. So with the King of Swords and the Seven of Swords, you may have air quite strongly in your chart. We do have the swords here. So it could be that speaking your truth can be actually really difficult for you. Um, and it's something that you're working on. Speech is going to be the main manifesto for you. So with air, it's all about communication, quick ideas, downloads, things like that. So you'll get downloads through your um, your mind, your, through your third eye, through um, speech. So when you're talking, you could actually do actually be channeling but also if you do writing or journaling that's going to be absolutely amazing for you to manifest things and also to really create your psychic abilities like bring them out and up into the world and also trusting yourself because I feel like with the heart chakra it's all about trusting when I got into uh, kind of channeling and doing this sort of work I did about six months of meditation and then my heart chakra opened and it really helped me to actually 
embrace my psychic abilities because I've always been psychic pretty much my whole entire life. It's only recently in that point in time I was like, whoa, what is this? This is crazy. But actually I need, it needed to happen so I could trust myself to give these messages to you guys. So everything happens for a reason. <laughs> also look out for um, little ravens as well. They're really big synchronicities for you and birds in, in general. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Also along with my crystal shop. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. You guys chose the pink opal uh, tower. These are really beautiful. I am obsessed. I love them. I love pink opal. It's one of my faves. So the love spell deck card you guys got is spell binding with heartstrings. It says, one to seek my love, one to find my love, one to bring my love, one to bind my love. So for you guys, it could be about kind of chanting. That could be a really good thing for you to do. I do feel like there's a lot of repetition going on. So chanting is really good. If you guys want to try this uh, spell out, then definitely give it a go if you want to. So I do feel like, because this is to do with candles, I feel like for you guys, candles are a really big thing for you. I feel like you could manifest through candles. It could be you do spells through candles. It could be that you guys just really enjoy having candles on. It could just be helping you to really ignite your senses. You could be very sensitive, like with your nose, you could be very sensitive to like aromatherapy and things like that. And it could help you to understand what's going on in your mind. Sometimes it, sometimes it can literally relax your mind really well and help you to understand what's kind of going on with you. All right, so we have prosperity, beautiful. So you guys, I do feel like you are the ones who use your intuition the most, I feel. Obviously, we're always using our intuition, but I feel like you guys are using it the most in your work life, I'm feeling in your career or possibly a hobby that you guys want to do. Okay, let's do this card first. We have the swan. Okay, beautiful. We have the fault line and the castle. Okay, so with these cards coming out, I do feel as if you guys can cage yourself in sometimes and stop yourself from kind of tuning into your intuition. So what the universe is telling me here is to have faith in your intuitive thoughts when you get them. You guys are the transformers. You have transformed so many times in your life, could be past life as well. You could even remember your past life or have recently or want to have a past life regression. I do actually offer past life reading. So if you're interested in that, then please look down below. I really enjoy doing those, they're so freaking fun. <laughs> um, so we also have the swan here. So if you guys is actually having faith that you are on the right path, and with your spiritual abilities, I feel like you guys really, really connect with water and birds. I feel like the best way to manifest for you guys is being around water and to listening to water. This could be listening to it, drinking it more. Um, I feel like you guys aren't drinking enough water. And I'm hearing a really random phrase, phrase, I'm hearing offering it to the gods. And I have no idea what this is, but I'm seeing like almost like a Zeus kind of energy or like Neptune with like a Ace of Cups kind of deal. He's kind of offering it to me. So I feel like somebody is coming in with an offer and my throat is hurting. So this is a very random message, but it kind of reminds me of love life here. Swans always remind me of unconditional love. It reminds me of twin, not, not twin flames, but more soulmates because they make for life. So I do feel like somebody, you're gonna manifest a really gorgeous spiritual connection through exp exploration of your psychic abilities and your witchiness, I feel. The more you embrace who you are at your core. It is funny actually, because I didn't recognize there's this kind of hand here. I do feel like it's something to do with like mythical creatures. I'm also hearing like Hercules and things. So you guys might really connect with the Hercules film from Disney. Um, but I do feel like you guys might be into like myths and archangels and things like that. So I do feel like you, as of watching this video right now, I feel like you guys are actually on the fault line of something, on the threshold of something. I feel like you guys have put yourself in a box for so long that maybe you've believed that that's who you are, but actually you are so much more than that. I do feel like for those of you who are single and wanting some sort of big, gorgeous, romantic relationship, there's definitely somebody who wants to be around you. Actually, love life is a massive part of your spiritual awakening. It's actually a really big part of your intuition. So obviously you don't have to have a relationship or be in a romantic relationship to manifest your psychic abilities. But for a lot of you, I feel like love is super, super important in terms of a romantic partner. I haven't really picked up on this for other groups. So I do feel like this is very specific. I feel like a lot of you guys have a very strong connection to somebody on the spirit, spirit 
spirit plane yes spirit plane but also on the 3d plane so i do feel like your spirit guides are actually helping you manifest this connection to come in it doesn't have to be romantic can be friendship as well but i do feel like some of you guys are actually gonna come to a much much higher place in your life when you meet your soulmate actual soulmate i'm not talking karmic i'm talking somebody who you will literally will be for the rest of your life or at least with a very long time this will help you to have much much more um opening in your heart chakra and it's going to allow you to come to a much deeper place within yourself and i feel so passionate about this group very very beautiful so you guys are going to come into a lot of prosperity when you embrace your psychic abilities i feel like you guys are definitely the water bearers i don't know what that means but they're saying water bearers you possibly could have a lot of water in your chart you could be somebody who's very emotional very teary could be um, could be somebody who also I'm seeing your skin is wet maybe you cry a lot or have been crying a lot that's kind of what I'm seeing but I'm hearing it's kind of like allow yourself to be free with your emotions you don't have to stop yourself from crying and um, I feel like maybe as a child you were told not to cry and things like that I mean we do have this gorgeous like I hear a situation so it's almost like don't cage your emotions in because that's going to stop you from opening up to your psychic abilities I feel like you guys pretty much have all the clairs I feel like you're very clear audience I feel like you're very clear sentient really really strong feelers and the more you kind of connect to your intuition the more you'll have faith within yourself because you're trusting yourself and you're trusting your intuition and you're going to manifest somebody who's really passionate about you because we have the passion flower here so I do feel like somebody is going to come into your life who you're so passionate about and both of you are just really passionate about each other and I'm just so freaking happy so it could be like a, a mentor it could be a really beautiful friendship that you manifest as well it doesn't have to be romantic as I said okay so oh my god we have passion that's amazing so the chakra you guys had is the solar plexus inner harmony so i'm not going to read all of this but if you guys want to check out any of these affirmations then please feel free to pause the video so it says i trust my innate wisdom and respond accordingly i do not allow my mind to create doubt or to override my strong gut feelings i accept it I, okay I'm gonna read that again I accept and express my feelings while accepting the feelings of others so I do feel like it's a massive confidence thing I feel like you guys are really working with your confidence the more fun you have the more you're gonna create abundance the more abundance you're gonna create you create abundance a lot through your solar plexus or your spleen you're somebody who um, that is the place where you feel the most anxiety that is the place where you feel when something is wrong you will feel it directly in your stomach so for you guys be very aware of your stomach your liver i mean here it says on the solar plexus it represents your pancreas stomach liver gallbladders small intestines spleen abdomen sternum and back from the 12th thor okay i don't know what that means from the first lumbar vertebrae i'm not sure what that means i'm going to read that again sternum and back from the 12th thoracic vertebrae to the first lumbar vertebrae i don't know what that means but basically it is your it's where the solar plexus is essentially so it basically represents your self-acceptance and your trusting and your gut feelings your personal power so the more power you have within yourself the more you can trust yourself and get your psychic abilities coming up you're probably the sort of witch or the sort of person who is very very passionate you could be somebody in performing you could be somebody who is in front of the camera you could be somebody also who's a Leo or you could be somebody who really is into love and romance. You're very passionate about romance. You're very passionate about relationships. You're very passionate about helping people in their relationships. You could be a counsellor. You could be wanting to be like a relationship counsellor, psychologist, that sort of thing. And I do feel like the more fun you have, the more you're going to manifest in your life. It's going to be much, much quicker. So keep taking things lightly don't take things too seriously because I feel like sometimes you guys can do that. So the more you take things lighter, the better. And the more you'll manifest in your life okay so let's get you a couple of tarot cards we want this one. Ooh, girl you have some love coming in if you guys are single that is love oh my god i'm so excited okay some of you guys could be libras as well we have the hangman you guys have waited a long time for your for your partner they could be a uh, earth sign as well so you could meet a person through work, could be meet a friendship through work who really helps you to um, create abundance within your work. So they could be somebody who you work with, could be like a partnership, like a work partnership. Could be also that you, um, once you open up your psychic abilities, you could do that for work. So it could be that this, also this relationship is gonna help you in work. So you may have waited a long time for your like ultimate romantic partner, basically because that's what's meant to happen. I think basically what they're showing me is that 
you may have to slow down in your love life. It could be that you've kind of manifested some possible toxic friendships or relationships. Now it's time to really embrace yourself, really connect to your own self-worth, your self-acceptance and trust yourself. That will help you to manifest the best relationship because you will trust yourself and it'll be the best one for you. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope this helped you. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your pick a card reading. So you guys chose Amethyst, probably one of the most kind of well-known psychic crown shark crystals. Really, really beautiful. One of my favorites, especially the clusters. I really connect with the clusters because they're just so gorgeous. Okay, so let's have a look at your Love Spells deck card. It says, Making Mojo, a love charm. It says, God is great, giver of love. We open our hearts to you above. We are ready for love, that's true. So for you guys, opening your heart chakra can really help you to create a lot of abundance in your life. It can help you to feel free. And I do feel like this is gonna help you to manifest your friendships as well. I do have like for here, it says two red crystals, rose petals. I'm really connected with that. So I do feel like you guys um, really love roses. You could be really connected to red crystals or pink crystals. I burped, so that's clarification. So let's have a look at the rest of your cards. So we have persistence and passion. Wow, two peas and also very similar flowers as well, which is really good. So pink flowers like roses, very beautiful. We have the stingray. We have the ring the sword and the thread. Wow, so really big energies for you guys. You guys could really like Game of Thrones. I'm really getting that really strong energy from this sword here. I also feel like your psychic abilities could really come through when you kind of come to a certain idea. It feels like the ring is almost like when you come to like an engagement, obviously when you get engaged, you have a ring. That's kind of what I feel like. It's like the pivotal moment in your life that's when things start to open. So it feels like maybe where you've been working on possibly your chakras, you're working on all the different energies. This is actually helping you to manifest that abundance. I feel like for your psychic abilities, you have kind of the longest road, I feel. It feels like you've kind of awakened your psychic abilities later on in life. I do feel like for you guys, you could use actual physical things to manifest. So we have a sword, we have the thread and the ring. So you guys could do a lot of kind of witchy work. You could use a lot of different objects to kind of do psychic readings or you could use objects to manifest. So say you have like a lucky bracelet, a lucky necklace, um, you like a certain flower that could feel good, really good for you. Something like that, that could actually help you to connect to your guides and connect to your witchiness. Okay. So with a stingray, this guy really kind of floats along. So I feel like for you guys, the best advice for you is just to let things flow. And as hard as it is sometimes, I feel like a lot of you guys are Capricorns. That's kind of what I'm picking up on. I do feel like you guys do struggle with your emotions sometimes. So what's really important is to keep going okay keep working on them keep and kind of feel them you know don't sorry guys i just touched my microphone um feel those emotions that are coming up those feelings are sacred and they're meant to be there okay there's definitely some sort of big energy coming in so for you guys you're going to be starting something new very soon and you're not i'm hearing you're not going to know what hits you you know i feel like you've been working through some really big destructive kind of energies right now it's a good good destruction by the way like the tower essentially so you're really kind of opening up to new ideas that are coming in. So if you've been feeling kind of sad or stressed out, just know that these things are meant to be there so you can work with them, okay? Your chakras are very, very important. So what's really important is to let yourself open to these new things, these new situations coming in. So for you guys, persistence is very important. Don't give up. <laughs> and also do things that you're really passionate about. That's going to help you to open up your psychic abilities. I feel like you guys use your mind a lot, use your head. You're very much in your head. So your crown and your, th your third eye is going to be very, very important. I do feel like you do you are in your head a little bit too much so you may actually struggle with connecting to your emotions and that's totally fine everyone is completely different so if you guys it may take a little bit longer for you to possibly manifest love or to create a abundant energy but that's okay because at the end of the day that's what's meant for you not to say it's going to take actual longer in time wise it just may you may have a different life to a lot of people and it may set you on a different path but that doesn't mean that that's wrong you know it just means that that's what's best for you also, I feel like I'm balancing out your masculine and your feminine energies. So you guys may be kind of dealing with being more 
um, passive, a kind of or tuning into your emotions, or you may feel the need to step up and really assert yourself. It could be two different energies. Okay, so just really big energies. Look how intense these cards are. They're just so intense. So I do feel like you guys are really kind of connecting to the intense parts of you and not to be scared of them because they are the best parts of you. And we also have just a lot of color. We have a lot of color and a lot of darkness. So you're basically working on both sides. You could be doing some shadow work or you could have had like a past life regression or done some sort of counseling or something that's really bringing up that subconscious. So just be aware of that. You guys are very practical though. Use that to your advantage because I feel like you're the ones who kind of calm down all the uh, emotional people, <laughs> all the water signs is what I'm actually hearing. And I'm a water sign guys, so you know. Okay, so we have the first chakra, base chakra, independence, beautiful, okay. So we have ninth house seeking, Saturn wisdom and trine flow, beautiful. Okay, so with this first chakra, we're gonna have a look at this, so independence. So you guys could be extremely independent. I feel like you guys really, are very good with money manifestations, but love can be a little bit slower, but that's okay because maybe you may meet your person through work or something like that. So it may mean that you have to manifest the work that's right for you and then you get your love life. So it says, I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. Beautiful. Okay. So essentially, you may actually get very a very big spiritual awakening through your travels. Okay. So you could be wanting to travel. I do feel like the sort of witch that you guys are is somebody who is a very earthy one. You kind of connect very much to the earth. I feel like you love the earth. I feel like you love traveling. You love meeting new people. You're somebody who's very open to different cultures. You're somebody who helps others to let their emotions flow. So you could be somebody who everyone goes to for advice. You're very wise. You have a very old soul. So you're somebody who I feel like with, in terms of manifesting, the best way to manifest for you is through experience. I feel like to experience new things, to create change in your life by deliberately changing things up for the for the good of your life and also to feel safe safety is a very big part of you and i do feel like financial safety is important so if you can find your safety without the finances that was when you're gonna create the most abundance in your life and i feel like really connecting with your body is going to really help so also with the first chakra on this little graph thing that comes with the cards it says that with the uh, location of the first chakra, what it can really help with is your lower back, your coccyx, adrenal glands, blood, skeleton, feet, knees, hips, teeth, nails, rectum, and spine. So if you guys may have any issues there, that may be because it's blocked, so just really work with that. There's certain crystals that you can use to work with that as well. So if you guys need any information on how to unblock your chakras, just uh, message me on Instagram or just put a comment down below. Also, this is definitely to do with self-sufficiency and stability and security. So the more secure you can feel in yourself, the more you're going to create that gorgeous abundance for you and yourself. So let's get you a couple of tarot cards and let's see what's going on with, with you guys. Well, that was quick. Beautiful. So something could have happened in your childhood. I feel like you need to take things less seriously and take things more light-hearted because you do take money very seriously and money could be possibly have been lacking when you were younger and knowing that you the more you embrace change and the more you embrace who you are and your independence the more you're going to create this abundance for you so the, your psychic abilities may actually kind of change when you change jobs because it's really important for you to connect to something that feel, fulfills you and makes you feel really really good so because work is so important to you because abundance and money is so important to you what's really good for you is to really do a job that engages all of your brain cells is basically what they're saying and with the six of cups it needs to be something that you really enjoy joy is going to help you manifest it's going to help open all your chakras and help you to become more psychic and open to new new beginnings and i do feel like there's somebody who you're leaving behind in, the, in your past, which is really good. And I do feel like you have a guardian angel watching over you. It's like a little figure here. So I feel like you have somebody who you're letting go of, but also 
they will always be part I'm hearing they will be, always be part of your life so if you are letting go of somebody and you're worried about letting them go and it kind of being that heartbreak just know guys everyone is, be, everyone is meant to be in your life for a certain amount of time you know and you will manifest a really good relationship here as well for those of you who are wanting one uh, if you're single there is definitely some sort of love relationship coming through from your inner child so the more you basically the they're saying the key to accessing the best relationship is to work on your inner child and work on the parts of you that feel possibly alone or you know rejected or scared and that's going to manifest the best possible relationship for you someone you can be like a child with and somebody you can be very innocent and very light with so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below along with my crystal shop thank you so much for being here I hope you have a lovely day i'll speak to you soon much love bye